What's good everyone, OJ here from the OJX channel, giving you guys a little bit of an update on the PlayStation 5. So, Sony hasn't said too much since they had their big presentation showing off a bunch of different games, but now they've actually given us a sneak peek at how PlayStation 5 games will look when you see them on store shelves. So, on the official PlayStation Twitter account, here is what they had to say. A sneak peek at what PS5 games will look like when you see them on store shelves starting this holiday. And they showed off the box art for Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales here. So this is one of their big launch games, pretty much the only first party launch game that we know about from Sony. So I know that they were pretty excited to show that off. Now there is actually a link to uh, where they talk about some more stuff here. This was written on July 9th. We're checking out the PlayStation blog. And uh, really, there's not much to it. They give us another uh, bit of it, so you can see a full front picture of it. Then they also tilt it a little bit to the side there, to where you can see like the spine of it. And pretty much all standard affair there, guys. Uh, the difference between what we had before, so I'm gonna put up a PS4 box art. I actually have Spider-Man uh, myself on the PlayStation 4, and really what they did is they just replaced the blue with white instead, and the font is now in black. That's pretty much the only major difference that I can see from this. It just has a little bit of a white aesthetic, just because the PS5 is white, it has that white aesthetic, and then the controller has the white two-tone as well, so really all they did was replace the dark gradient blue dark blue to lighter blue with a white that's it you know it's not even like a gradient white from what i can see here so nothing really crazy on that front like i said the spine is pretty much the same i'm looking at the same spine for marvel spider-man on the ps4 and really everything pretty much looks the same everything pretty much looks the same from what i can see although they did remove the box uh the border on the marvel Marvel. On Spider-Man on the PS4, there's actually a white border around the Marvel, so you see like white around the red. And on this one, there's not that. So it seems like they removed that. I'm not sure when, but those are really the only differences that I can see here. I mean, there might be a little bit of a difference. There was a white border that went across like you see where this is like the ps5 right on ps4 there was a white border that went across the bottom of it and also across the bottom on the spine where the ps4 ends it looks like maybe they kind of changed that too to where there is no border i'm gonna zoom in just a bit more just so i can kind of check it out and um actually yeah there is there actually is a blue border on there so they changed it from white to blue instead on there so it does have that same border as well so that's really the major changes that i can see here nothing crazy seems like it's all uh status quo for the most part and um it looks like it's going to be a pretty good um game when it comes to marvel spider-man miles morales um if you haven't seen my last video on it make sure you check it out uh this is not like the next marvel spider-man 2 game it's kind of like the lost legacy type of thing torn of the golden country that type of expansion to the game so it seems like it's still going to be really good and it's going to really push the power of the playstation 5 but at the same time it is 30 frames it's not going to be a 60 frames for a second game so uh, there was some information that came out why we're going to be getting some 30 frames for a second games instead so i guess that's a video for another day but as of right now this is the first look at the playstation 5 box art so what do you guys think about this do you guys like the design more than the ps4 do you like it less uh what are you guys thoughts um personally for me um i don't really care um when it comes down to it it's just the box i just want to have a cool box to be able to hold i guess and have the game i'm not as big of a fan on digital games so to me i mean it looks all right and it goes with the aesthetic of the system so it is what it is on that front i'm not in love with the design of the ps5 itself i think it's a massive system that necessarily isn't the prettiest system out there but whatever it just sits there and you you play it right that's the most important thing the games are good so what do you guys think about all this i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below all right guys that wraps it up for this video here check out the links in the description we've got twitter we're gonna give us a follow on there stay up to date on all the latest gaming news and information also make sure you like comment and subscribe and share this video if you can thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you for the next one peace